Well, let's sing our, our good morning song. Good morning, backpackers. How are you? Hello, Alex. Hello, Flynn. Hello, Katie. How are you? Hello, Kai. Hello, Lydia. Morgan and Laura Jo. How are you? Hello, Parker. Hello, PJ. Hello, Sienna. How are you? Let's start our video class now. Now it's time to do our prayer. Five fingers here, five fingers there. Put them together. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. <clears throat> and thank you for the sounds of the birds and things growing in nature. And please take care of all of our friends and our families. Amen. And now it's time for the days of the week. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day yesterday. Today we're going to pretend to pull weeds. All right, a one and two and three. Days of the week, pull weeds, pull weeds. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, pull weeds, pull weeds. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, pull weeds, pull weeds. The last time we were together was Friday, then Saturday, and Sunday, and today, is Monday. It's a new week. Well, backpackers, today we are going to make a parachute. <laughs> so, what you'll need is either a sheet of paper or what really works well is a plastic bag. You can get a plastic bag that your mom gets at the store when she gets your groceries. And you're going to cut it into a rectangle or a square. So for this, you might need a little help because cutting plastic can be a little tricky. I think in this bag, I had my oranges. Okay. And then, we'll need a hole puncher. And you're going to hole puncher the four corners here, 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 and here. And if that doesn't work, you can cut just a little snip with your scissors. Just a little one, enough to put some string through. Okay, and I've pre-cut my string. The important thing about this string is it has to be the same size. So I have four pieces of string, and they're all the same size. And then you will stick your string, thread it through the little hole, and tie a little knot on it. And then you'll go to the other hole, thread it there, and Tie it again. I always tie it twice just to make sure it stays. So I'm looking for my other little hole. Here it is. Okay, so I have three and I have one more to go. Okay, so now I have my square with four strings. I'm going to lay it flat. And 
I'm going to gather all four ends of my string. And you definitely need your parents' help to do this because this could be a little tricky. And once you have them all gathered all together, you want to tie them a little bit so you you tie it a little bit in so you have about two or two and a half inches of string left at the top and then you will get a very light toy it could be a Polly Pocket or it could be a Lego. I have this little counting guy that we use at school and then you're going to tie the string around your little guy. And like I said, I always tie him twice. I will cut the extra off. Now let's go outside and try it out and see how. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss it up as high as you can. Ooh. Did you see that? <laughs> let's try that again. He wants to follow me. And that is how you make a parachute. Now we're going to sing Make New Friends, and this is a song that we would have sung together at our end of the year celebration. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be together for to sing the songs, but I'll sing it with you, and maybe you can sing it with me. So it goes, make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round. It has no end. That's how long I'm going to be your friend. Zeke the zebra is the letter Z. Z. Katina cat is the letter C. Nigel night owl is the letter N. Mm. Honey horse is the letter H. Huh. Umber umbrella bird is the letter U. Uh. Ellie elephant is the letter E. A. Willie Weasel is the letter W. W. Bubba Bear is the letter B. B. Olive Octopus is the letter O. Oh. Jerry Jellyfish is the letter J. J. Timmy Tiger is the letter T. T. Francie Fish is the letter F. F. Yancy Yak is the letter Y. Y. Lizzie Lizard is the letter L. Mm. Pee Wee Penguin is the letter P. Kayo Kangaroo is the letter K. Robbie Rabbit is the letter R. R. Gordo Gorilla is the letter G. G. Sammy Snake is the letter S. Missy Mouse is the letter M. Mmm. Quinny Quail is the letter Q. Any Inchworm is the letter I. 
Yeah. Vincent, the vampire fat, is the letter V. Mm. Dee Dee Deer is the letter D. D. Xavier Fox is the letter X. X. Alley Alligator is the letter A. A. And that is the end of Mixed Up Zoo. Today's letter is Z. And I got some of the backpackers zooming. Can you see that? That's us. Z. Can you find something that starts with the letter Z at your house? Today's story is Giggle Giggle Quack by Doreen Cronin. And the illustrator is Betsy Lewin. Duck, uh-oh, what did duck find now? Farmer Brown was going on vacation. He left his brother, Bob, in charge of the animals. Oh, there's duck. I wrote everything down for you. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. But keep an eye on Duck. He's trouble. Farmer Brown thought he heard giggles and snickers as he drove away, but he couldn't be sure. Bob gave, Bob gave Duck good lo a good long stare and went inside. He read the first note. Tuesday night is pizza night, not the frozen kind. The hens prefer anchovies. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Now, do you think that's an, a note that farmer would leave? That the hens eat pizza? Hmm. 29 minutes later, there was hot pizza in the barn. Oh, look at all those animals. The pigs are eating pizza, the chickens and the ducks, and the cows, too. Bob checked on the animals before he went to bed. Everything was just fine. Look, everyone's asleep. Wednesday is bath day for the pigs. Wash them with my favorite bubble bath and dry them off with my good towels. Remember, they have very sensitive skin. Giggle, giggle, oink. Do you think Farmer John really wrote that note? Look, Duck has a pencil. Bob had all the pigs washed in no time. It says bubble bath and talc. Farmer Brown called home on Wednesday night to check in. Did you feed the animals like I wrote on in the note? He asked. Done, replied Bob, counting seven empty pizza boxes. Oh, let's count them. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. There goes Duck with his pencil. Did you see my note about the pigs? All taken care of, said Bob proudly. Are you keeping very cl a very close eye on Duck, he asked. Bob gave Duck a good long stare. Duck was busy sharpening his pencil to notice. Oh, look, here's Farmer Brown on his vacation. Just keep him in the house, ordered Farmer Brown. He's bad. He's a bad influence on the cows. Giggle, giggle, moo, giggle, giggle, oink, giggle, quack. 
Oh, there's another note. Thursday night is movie night. It's the cow's turn to pick. Giggle, giggle, moo. Bob was in the kitchen popping popcorn. Just as the animals settled in to watch the sound of music, the phone rang. Oh, look, the phone rang and it scared the chicken. The only thing Farmer Brown heard on the other end was giggle, giggle, quack, giggle, moo, giggle, oink. Ugh, duck, screamed Farmer Brown. Uh-oh. And, and the note says, it's for you, Bob. And Farmer Brown ran back home. And that is the end of Giggle, Giggle, Quack. Now it's time to say goodbyes. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Gwen. Goodbye, Kai. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Katie. Goodbye, Leah. Goodbye, Nora Jo. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Morgan. Goodbye, Parker. Goodbye, PJ. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Sienna. Goodbye, Backpackers. Goodbye, Miss Ruth and Miss Alexa. We'll see you again real soon.